The researcher goes through the questionnaires together with the participant. This gives the researcher the opportunity to see whether the questions have been filled in completely and to ask additional questions in the event of any uncertainties. This also provides an opportunity to check whether the collection went smoothly and whether any urine has been lost. Marking the bottles makes it easier to see which bottles belong together while processing the urine and whether a participant has handed in one or more bottles. It's important to store the urine in a cool place until it is further processed. This processing must take place preferably on the same day that the urine is returned, but can wait for a few days if needed. The urine bottles are weighed one by one to determine the amount of urine in the bottle. The weight of the bottle should be deducted from this weight. It is, therefore, necessary to weigh some empty urine collection bottles and record this weight before starting the research. The weights of the full urine bottles must be recorded. Before the researcher starts processing the urine, it's important to check carefully whether the test tubes and bottles belong to the same participant. If the participant has used more than one bottle, you can mix the urine in the bucket by stirring with the stirrer. If the participant has only used one collection bottle, the urine can be taken directly from this bottle. The urine is removed from the bucket or bottle using the plastic syringe and transferred to a test tube. Make sure that the test tube is not filled to the brim, otherwise it might break when stored in the freezer. Close the test tube with a screw cap and store the test tubes in a freezer at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Any remaining urine can be flushed down the toilet. It can first be stored in a collection bin if needed, so that you don't have to keep walking back and forth to a toilet. Rinse the bucket and the stirrer in readiness for the next participant. The plastic syringe, collection bottles and disposable gloves can be disposed of.